Hey, welcome to Ron Gen 1080p, you beautiful people. We're going to be finishing up this uh, guide on setting up your first desktop. You're building your, your first PC. This is the video for you. Once you find out your motherboard, and then you got to find out what all parts are compatible with your motherboard. And also, in, the, in this video, we're going to be talking about your case. So when you find the motherboard you want and you know the CPU, CPU that you want, you want to find a motherboard that is compatible with it. Once you find out which one you like, AMD or Intel or any other ones out there, you have to find you a motherboard that is compatible. So once you do find your motherboard, you want to find out your motherboard size. Now when it comes to your motherboards, they, are, they come in very different shapes. Like there's like a small, medium, a large, and... I don't get why there's another one, but what, what there is now for your case, you want to make sure that it fits your motherboard. So you look at your motherboard, it's going to tell you what size it is. We have mini ITX, that's like the smallest. We have micro ATX, that's the medium one. And we have ATX. Then there's another one that is EATX. So you just make sure whatever case that you buy, that it fits your motherboard. Look at your motherboard size. Let's say you have a micro ATX. You're gonna look when you're looking at your case. Make sure in the description of the item that it says it it uh, fits micro ATX, etc. etc. For the other motherboards in different sizes. Okay, there's a also a faceplate guard for like your back uh, inputs. What you want to do is you see how I'm bringing my hand around. You take this that silver piece that so you see right here that's on. You take it and bring it around, and then I push mine in. Your case may be different, or your back piece may be different as well. So this is how I install mine. You know, different this, uh cases are different setups sometimes. I believe so. What I did was I for this case and this motherboard is you see what I'm doing. I brought it around. And then I pushed it on and it just kind of like kind of snaps into place. Don't push it too hard, but you just push it into place and it stays in. That's the first thing you want to do before you actually put your motherboard in. Okay, now you want to take your actual motherboard, line it up with the back plates that you just put it in from that plate you just put in. And make sure your, the, the holes in your motherboard are lining up with the holes that are in the actually input in your case. Line them up, and all you want to do is take the correct screws, whatever ones yours came with, and screw your motherboard down to your case. You don't have to go extremely hard, just enough to hold it into place. I don't like using the power drills because you can screw up bolts like that, and I'm dealing with a delicate piece of equipment, so I'm going to manually do it because this accidents can happen with the power drill. So I don't, I love doing with the hand drill. So all you do is screw it into place. And this is how you put your motherboard into place. Uh, take your your bolts and your uh, screws and screw them in. That's it. Okay, for my first one, I'm going to be inputting to my case is the HD audio. My HD audio input location is in this area. This is just for this motherboard. Yours may be in a different location, but in general, a lot of these inputs are on the edges of your motherboard from what I have been seeing, but your motherboard may be different. But for this motherboard, this is where my HD audio input is. I got it showing you the location as well. This is where I'm going to plug it in at and make sure that you got the right side and the right cord in your hand. You know, normally it will say it on the cord from what I showed you at first. All right, the next cord I'm going to be inputting into my motherboard is my USB. My USB is down here in this location. I also has a picture of it showing you guys in the background. This is where you the location for my USB input is on this motherboard. This is for the USB. I'm taking it and I'm going to put it in here, down here in the correct slot, the right way up. Make sure that your sides are right. All right, these is going to be for your power switch, your power LED, and your reset switch. This is kind of probably going to be a little tricky for some people, but it's not. It's actually easy because on each of the cords, it has the, the labeling on them. So as you guys can see, I'm going to show you this picture right here. This is what you uh, I use. Make sure at the for the bottom of my motherboard, it's, it shows you where it's supposed to go at. It say JFP1 on the motherboard right up under it. It say the same thing JFP1. In this picture, you see this is where your switches are going to go. 
and to make this a little easier you see on the far right hand side it is missing a pin this is what I use to identify my top layer and bottom layer and for my my top layer I can see on the far right hand side of my motherboard it's going to be missing a pin yours may be kind of for your bottom but whatever side is missing a pin that's the side your power LED is going to go on and your power switch negative and positive inputs is going to go on that's how I just identify it so I got it on the screen pay attention to it guys you see that there's a negative and a positive sign for it that first one that's where your positive power switch is going to go at wherever that pin is missing at from left to right as you guys can see it look a little tricky it's probably your first time don't be it's all it's, it's quite easy just take your time look at the picture very carefully make sure you have the right pins in your hand because they should be labeled and it's exactly where they go at my first time doing it I got it done the first time correctly I just took my time with it and that's pretty much it for all your inputs and the last one I'm going to be putting in is my USB 3.0 this is for the the high drive one you see that is pretty big blue tip I'm going to show you guys again the location for this USB input location on my motherboard it's over here in this area and all I did was slide it in in the right way make sure that it's a middle piece with a that's got a like a rising clip area on this USB make sure that is right side up for this motherboard and you slide it in and that's, that's pretty much it for like the, all the inputs there are two more cores that need to go inside this motherboard that is your power but that is I made a video on your power supply pretty much with everything that goes into your power supply like how to set it in and everything like that check the link in the description or just the next video I have a playlist on my channel showing you guys how to put your PC all the way together so if you need to know how to do your power supply that have a video for that motherboard graphics card CPU everything that goes to computer I got a video for you so if you want to know where your power core is going at I'm going to show you guys that in a power supply video but they're right there on the sides but if you go to that video I'm going to show you where to put it at for this motherboard and for this case yours may vary but I'm showing you guys how to put in the power supply and everything like that. I didn't do it in this video because this one was just, you know, the motherboard. That is a piece of the motherboard. Probably should have put this in this video, but I didn't. Check the video for the power supply video, and you will see how to install your power supply and how to input your power supply cords to your motherboard. But thank you guys for tuning into the channel. You found it helpful. Please be sure to drop a like down for me if you don't want to subscribe to the channel but if you do want to subscribe to the channel go ahead and hit that bell icon to get notified when i drop my next computer video or gaming video but thank you guys for tuning into the channel hopefully you guys got it done correctly the first time the right time thank you guys for tuning in see you guys in the next video